What's up everyone? Welcome back to GQ Design Studio. My name is Gabriel Antonio Quinones Martinez and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint an abstract background. Now I know times are pretty crazy right now and you're probably locked up in your house so grab your extra paint, some extra canvases, whatever you got will make use out of it. For this particular style of painting we want to have really really liquidy paint. What I'm using is Home Depot wall paint. You know, when you walk into Home Depot and you see like a whole galore of colors to choose from. Well, I got some uh, paint swatches here. Yeah, I read them in weep suckers. So what we can do is pick out four colors. We're gonna use two colors for the background and then two colors to kind of smear on top to create this really, really cool texture that you wouldn't be able to achieve otherwise. Now your painting is gonna come out probably a lot different than mine depending on what color you're gonna choose. And also this style kind of lends itself to being really unique, you know? Even if you try to make the same painting twice, it probably won't end up the same way. These are the colors that I'm gonna go with. They are black, no more drama red, hacienda blue, and big surf. The other tools that you're gonna need is a paint roller like this. Doesn't really matter what kind of paint roller you have, whatever you got lying around will work fine. And also something like a scraper like this. You just want it to be long and flat like this. And the last tool that you will need is a glove. That's right, we are not gonna use any brushes for this. Not even one brush. Not even one. Megatron, get out of here. Tito, get out of here. Ignacio, get out of here! Oh yeah, guys, you probably want to get uh, some socks for painting because this is going to get messy. First off, let's go ahead and take uh, the darker colors. So here I'm using black and Hacienda blue. And we're gonna mix them up, get them up, mix them up, And now we're gonna have the canvas on the floor. Now you can put it on a blanket or a towel or a piece of cardboard because this is going to get messy and you don't want to mess up your nice floors. If you want to do this outside, you can, but you got to watch out for like leaves and stuff because they will get stuck to your canvas, so just be mindful of that. But this part is kind of fun. What we can do here is let's open up these little bottles. And now what we can do is at the same time, we're going to pour the black and the blue paint on our canvas. My black paint is old, so it's kind of chunky, but it's okay. It's not going to hurt nothing. Oh God, <laughs> all right, so there's a huge chunk of paint there. It's usually not that chunky, but it's all right. But what we're doing, it's okay. Let's put these to the side and we'll get out our roller. And now with our roller, we're just gonna roll this paint up. There we go. So you just wanna make sure that you cover the whole canvas. And you don't want to blend it too much because then you're going to end up with one flat color and we want to be able to see the different shades there. And now you could leave it like that if you like it, you know, whatever, it's, it's cool. But we're not done. <laughs> what we're going to do is take out our other two colors, No More Drama Red and what is it, Wave Surf? Big Surf. We'll mix these up too and we're going to open it. And just like before, we're going to pour these at the same time on top of our canvas. And you want to get some in the corner over here. You want to pour some along the edge too, because we're going to be using this edge to make something cool. Now that we have that, we're going to get out, oh, and now that we have that, we're going to get out our uh, flat metal piece. All right, and what we can do is just take this, and we're just going to do a clean sweep. go all the way just like that pretty cool huh I'm gonna drip this on there and 
And let's say that you think that looks pretty cool, but you think it could look a little bit cooler. We can repeat that step. For this run, I'm gonna use a little bit of blue. And a little bit more red. Might be enough red already, but we'll see. And a little bit of this color because why not? I'm gonna wipe off the blade here with the blanket. And we'll give this another go. From the edge, we're gonna do one clean sweep. Just like that. Do it one more time. Now I'm gonna push down a little bit harder. So, it's glove time. I got blue paint on mine already somehow. I'll start with black. All right, so now let's take our hand and we're gonna put it in to the paint. So I just have my fingertips in there. And then I'm just literally sprinkling like this. That's the best way to get these random drips. And now we're just gonna drip right onto the canvas. Now, if you like the way that the painting looked before, you can totally keep it that way. But I want this to look a little bit more abstract and a little bit more drippy. This is a really easy and fun way to decorate any part of your house. You know, you can choose the color palette based off of what you got going on in your house. And now since I'm a cheap Puerto Rican, I'm just going to wash my glove instead of put on a new one. But usually I just put it into the blanket and wash it off. So let's go ahead and use the lighter color now. So I'm using Big Wave, but you can use whatever you use for your lightest color. And we're just gonna drip it on there. You don't wanna put too much uh, paint on your glove because then you'll have this huge glob of paint that falls down on your canvas. And maybe you want that, you know, that was a pretty big piece, but they'll all end up that big. And then you can splash your hand like this to get the extra little bits out. Let's wash off our glove again. Or just wipe it off. It doesn't have to be, you know, 100% clean. And we'll go to our Hacienda Blue now. Dip the fingertips. And now same strategy. I'm just gonna drip it right on the paint. You see that it goes through the red really nicely. You can really see it contrast. And I feel like there should be more blue on this side. You wanna make sure that your edges are nice and covered. So it doesn't look like all your drips are just coming from the middle of the canvas, you know, you want this to look even. And lastly, we're gonna do the same step, but with red paint. So clean off your glove. And I feel like red paint should be going around here. Just a little bit, because this is pretty red dominant. It's actually so red dominant that I think I'm gonna maybe go back and add a couple more drips from maybe the light blue. So I got my big wave, and I'll just add a little bit more over here. There we go. That looks a lot more even to me. Get some down here as well. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. You can just leave your canvas sitting there for, well I'd leave it till the next day, but I'm sure like maybe like six hours or, or something is enough. But yeah, if you want to paint something on top of that, you totally could. It would make an awesome background. That's usually what I do for my paintings here. I told you my secrets. Don't tell anybody unless you send them to my channel, then good job. And that's it for this painting video. It was nice, easy, short. I know I haven't done a painting class in a while, so this was a good one to get back into it. If you have any questions for me whatsoever, drop them in the comment box down below. 
Be sure to subscribe for more of these painting videos and also some time lapses and things like that. If you want to support me directly, you can head on over to my Patreon and you can donate there to me directly, which would be awesome. The more you guys give back to me, the more videos I can get back to you because these videos do take a lot of time and energy. Not necessarily this one because this was pretty easy, but my normal painting videos, you know, you know, you know. Be sure to subscribe if you want more videos like this and please stay safe out there. If you have the opportunity, self-isolate, do your thing, keep everybody safe. Much love. I'll see you next time. Well, I got paint on my socks, so it's a good thing I have my painting socks on.